Today we're going to talk about the 7 Artisans 7.5mm f2.8. And for one lucky individual, we're going to be giving this lens away, so stay tuned to find out how. Let's do this. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are talking about the Seven Artisans 7.5 millimeter f2.8. And Seven Artisans was gracious enough to send this lens to me to test out, so thank you to Seven Artisans. As always, they're not requiring me to say anything specifically, so you're gonna get my full and unbiased opinion. Let's break down this lens by image quality, build quality, and my overall thoughts, slash who I think could be useful for. Let's start with image quality. Quality. If I'm being honest, when I first started using this lens, I wasn't really excited about the results, but it was primarily because I was trying to compose the shot like I would a rectilinear lens. But when I started composing my shots to really cater to more of a fisheye style, that's when I got really excited about this lens. And there's three things that make me really excited about this lens. One is the fact that it is an ultra wide angle lens and there is some barrel distortion. And so it just offers something a little bit different with the image. So the ultra wide and distortion distorted image offers in and of itself something unique, but on top of that, you have the f2.8, which really is awesome because I'm not really going to use this in a daytime shoot, and so if I'm going to use this lens, I'm most likely to use it in more of a low light scenario because I can't put an ND filter on it. And then the last thing that allows this lens to create a really unique image is the amazing close focusing distance. And so getting close to a subject mixed in with the f2.8 and the ultra wide look just creates a really really unique image and so I think if you're looking for a unique stylized shot definitely look at this lens. So then that brings me over to build quality. Just like any other seven artisans lens you shouldn't be surprised at this point that the build quality on this lens is going to be top notch. It is an all metal construction. You are going to have a smooth focusing and aperture ring. The aperture ring is going to be declicked. You are going to have that front element that's rounded because that's a fish eye style but it does come with a lens cap that that has a little bit of like felt in the middle or plastic some type of material kind of help it stay on a little bit more so that's kind of nice focus markers are very clear I actually like the way that these are styled it's using one marker to indicate the focusing and the aperture but it's very clear of what's going on there so that's nice now one thing to mention about the build quality or more so like quality control is I did have to send my original copy of this one back because the infinity focus on this was not working it wouldn't go very far at all so I had to return it and get a new copy and that seemed to have fixed it so that's something you want to keep in mind if you're not getting good performance out of the infinity focus you may want to consider trying to exchange it for a new copy of the lens but beyond that this is a quality lens and like I said before you shouldn't really be surprised about that seven artisans puts out some quality lenses so just like any other seven artisans lens the 7.5 millimeter build quality is top notch so build quality check. So between image quality and build quality, what are my overall thoughts and who do I think this will be useful for? My overall thoughts on this is after you get past the initial kind of shock or unfamiliarity of shooting with fisheye, this does really offer a unique and amazing image for the cost. Right now at time of filming, this lens is about $140 and so you're going to get a good quality lens, good quality wide angle, low light lens for $140 and that in and of itself is really awesome. So again, if you're looking for a lens that offers a really unique shot because of a wide angle field of view, some low light performance, as well as an amazing close focusing distance at $140, definitely check out the 7 Artisans 7.5mm f2.8. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I am going to be giving this copy of the lens away. And so if you want to win this lens, what you need to do is first subscribe to the channel, but then also comment below with your Twitter or Instagram handle. And in two weeks time, I'm going to announce a winner. I'm only going to keep this open for two weeks. And what I'm going to do, because I've learned from previous mistakes, is I'm not going to announce a winner in a video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a community post announcing a winner. And then I'll reach out to you individually on Twitter or Instagram to get some shipping information and get everything finalized. And so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. If you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands. And I'll see you here next time. Peace.